This is episode 13 of my Road to Challenger in Wild Drift. For my first game, I got support. My teammate bans Yumi, so I ban Zed instead. I had to first pick Pike because nobody wanted to swap. The enemy support this game was Brown. At the start of the laning phase, there was already a fight happening. At level 2, I tried ganking the mid lane in hopes of killing the Yasuo. But we failed. But I won't let this Yasuo slide because he was noting on us. So I knew I had to try again. But sadly we failed again. After that my teammate ganks bot lane. And this is what happens. Basically the Wukong ganks. But the problem is we got counter ganked by the Guan. So he was killed and we pretty much lost his trade. There was another fight in the mid lane, so I wanted to help. And basically, the echo died. But I was still able to kill this Yasuo. I mean, that's pretty good enough, right? He died later though, again. We ganked mid lane again after because this Yasuo was my enemy. I mean, this guy emoted on me. I will never forget that. And bro. But after that, I pretty much died. And after that, the enemy team gets the dragon. We tried getting the Rift Herald after, but I made a mistake. Like, look at my buttons. I focus instead on the Gwen. I mean, on the Rift Herald instead of killing the Gwen first. So, you get it. The Caitlyn keeps on testing me. And because of that, I was able to hit him with my Q and able to kill him again. Actually, this is my first time killing him. But basically after that I was also able to escape, so fuck you Caitlyn. And again, the enemy team tried testing me, this Yasuo was like acting all smug. Bro, you're using your wind wall. Bro, why are you acting like this? And because of that, you know, he was trying to act like some great player standing in that place. Because of that, I was able to kill him. I truly am the greatest player of all time. Like, don't ever doubt me. Again, this is viewer's discretion. I'm only being sarcastic right now. Back to the game, this Aatrox was truly going on demon mode and was just carrying us, all of us, actually. Like, this guy's the true goat of the game. And don't ever doubt him. After that, I stole the blue buff of the enemy team to piss off the jungler. I really couldn't do much here because I was low health, but luckily I was able to kill this Yasuo. After that I went to the base to def our tower and we were able to kill the Jax. After I died they were able to push our tower but once they were backing away, I had to chase this Caitlyn out because I knew my teammates would help me. I was just trying to bait out myself actually and because of that we were able to kill most of them. So that was actually a good decision. I still died though because I didn't back off but the point still stands you know. Because after this fight we were able to get the Baron. Our teammate was pushing the top lane, I mean the bot side, so I had to distract this Jax, which uh, I was actually quite successful. I was trying to annoy him as well, <laughs> to piss him off a bit, I mean that's basically what I'm doing. And I was actually able to escape, so I knew at this moment that Jax was annoyed. No, that was just my head cannon. I'm making up like... <laughs> I'm making up ideas in my head and at this moment the Yasuo died because he's just not respecting my damage and here another clash happens I'm just skill stealing all the kills actually like I'm the most useless spike of the game wait I'm not the most useless I'm kidding I'm kidding and after this I died though because I didn't notice the Jax was in the bot side, I don't know what's doing. After that, my teammate fights again. 
and they were able to kill the jungler which which stopped the enemy team from getting the baron and after that i was able to kill the skatelin which once again is not respecting the range of my ulti after that i stole the blue buff again from the enemy team and this is the last clash and i just want you to watch what will happen We basically won the clash even though the enemy team gets the elder dragon and yeah after that we were able to end the game or my teammates did second game i got mid lane this time i showed pick zoe so she doesn't get banned i banned yumi this time but sadly the enemy team was able to ban zoe swap position with my teammate because she asked for it enemy picks yasuo so I was thinking of playing Vex, but ultimately, I pick Echo instead. Okay, in this game, I'm gonna show you that this champion, Echo, is actually a good champion in mid lane. Well, he is already. I'm pretty sure you know that, right? Here in the early game, I played it smart. I used my first skill. And whenever I get my damage, that's the only time I will hit the grips with my basic attack. So I can actually heal. Well, there's circumstances where I don't have any skills to kill the minions other than basic attack, and so I had to do it. But most of the time, I use my first skill, so I can use my passive to heal myself. But here, like, look. When I play Echo, I just basically hit and run. So after proccing my passive, I just run away after. And I'm pretty successful actually. That's all I need to do in the early game. And here after, I gank the top lane. And for whatever reason, I somehow forgot to basic attack. And the guy was able to escape. And I couldn't chase him up because Pantheon was there. And here, the Yasuo tried going after me but I had my ulti that's one of the favorite things actually when I play Echo and here I surprised the Pantheon I just learned this trick earlier from, I mean the other day you can use your stun in the bush and I mean your second skill and the enemy team will have vision to it after I found it out I actually wanted to play Echo that time and yeah I found it on reddit by the way and here the enemy team gets the dragon so we had to fight on the arrow because for some reason our team didn't get it at that time i was able to use my old team the most perfect way possible and was able to get the herald so after this i was able to push the mid lane yeah like that's just how you play echo it's i mean it's pretty obvious right i mean not a revelation or anything but echo is like an assassin right so that's what you do you basically just hit and run and you're good to go and yeah it is kind of weird that i built uh, i it was able to escape her surprisingly but anyways i'm gonna explain my build i don't know why this is just me now um ludens echo to echo ludens echo to echo but basically, most of the time, right, the most popular builds is Lich Bane. But for some reason, I never, okay, I never felt satisfied first item in Lich Bane. It feels so weak to Echo. It's just me, basically. It's a personal, personal preference. With Lich Bane, I basically have, like, played like a mage. I can play like a mage because of my first skill. When I build Lich Bane, I basically have no no damage, which I find it weird, which this is why I use Liden's Echo now for my first item. Then I go grab the guns, then Lich Bane. And I also first max up my first skill because, I don't know, I like the feeling of having 
my first go dealing damage because I'm basically a mage although I'm still an assassin still I mean the third skill alone is already strong so I don't need to max it out first so I'm max so if you're gonna try play act like me you know you can max out your first skill first and build Lugan second instead of Luch Bane for first item you can still build Luch Bane after I mean Technically, you could build it after uh, Luden Cycle. I mean, that's how I do it in Brachus, and it seems to be working fine. So, so yeah, that's how I do it. Oh, and yeah, if you've got this far, uh, sorry for this kind of upload or my vibe earlier. It's just, I don't know, I'm just feeling like, I don't know, I don't feel like making. I actually don't intend on making a Road to Challenger video. I mean, this video, these two games. I'm just trying. To, I was, I was actually just gonna upload. I don't know three games actually, but my last game was pretty much shitted. Uh, ruined my mood. It was my Lax game. And I played pretty shit on that game, so I pretty much lost the mood after playing that game. And also, I w have I have been thinking like in the morning today i was thinking of making a zoe guide video actually but i don't know i lost the desire after maybe i'm just procrastinating so keep in mind i might make a zoe guide video in the future so yeah keep keep that in mind I, it's not a promise but i might make some in the in the future if i feel like it but anyways if you've got this far you know thanks for watching and yeah peace out peace